Hey again, today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you guys on the AXO Brew 9 coffee machine. Um, I hadn't seen too many reviews on this as it's fairly new, um, so I thought I'd just kind of give you guys my two cents just based on my experience and let you know what I thought about it. I uh, should mention real quick too, I found a pretty good deal on this, and I'll put a link below in the description to that so you can check that out if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. So the Brew 9 is the replacement to the famous On Barista Brain 9 uh, coffee maker, which won all sorts of reward, uh, rewards, all sorts of awards, uh, and was kind of the top pick by all the major review blogs and websites. So what did they change with the Brew 9? Is it worth getting? Is it worth buying? So what did they change uh, between the On Barista Brain and the Brew 9? Well, are you ready for this, everybody? They changed the name. That's literally it. It's the exact same coffee machine. It is a newer, updated model. I don't know if anything internally has changed. I don't think so. Everything is absolutely identical in terms of looks and features and function. Um, to me, why would they change it? It's pretty much the best coffee maker out there on the market for the money. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, but yeah, the Brew 9 is basically just the on barista brain, just the new 2019-2020 model. It's the same microprocessor controlled coffee machine that makes some of the best coffee that you'll ever taste in your life. I absolutely love it. I didn't think getting a really good coffee maker would make that much of a difference. After all, it's just putting hot water through coffee grounds into a carafe, but for whatever reason, it does make exceptionally good coffee. The best coffee I've ever had. Like I said, it is microprocessor controlled. It kind of reminds me of one of those Zojirushi artificial intelligence rice makers. Um, it just works really good. They've kind of perfected coffee, I guess you could say. But the water is heated to the exact perfect temperature to brew coffee. Um, and then it's inside the carafe. It holds it at that same temperature to make it perfectly. It has this kind of, they call it a rainmaker shower head to evenly disperse the water over the grounds. So you're not getting like, there's a lot of drip coffee machines like drip right through the center. So after, you know, it gets halfway through brewing, the grounds on the side tend to not get used. So you're getting weaker coffee as it goes through in through the middle. But this, like I said, kind of disperses it. It does have this um, LED interface which shows the uh, freshness of the grounds. Now this particular machine, you can leave the water in, you can leave the grounds in, and you can just use it. It'll brew it as it goes. It's really nice looking too. It's quite modern, quite industrial looking, I guess you could say. Um, I mean, that is to say that for a coffee maker, it's very nice looking. Um, kind of a centerpiece, I guess you could say, but OXO is kind of known for that. They're really good with their industrial design team or whatever, so kudos to them. But yeah, simply the best coffee machine out there, bar none, um, in my opinion, and the opinion of many others. So. But anyway, like I said, I'm very happy with it, and I definitely recommend it if you're looking for an excellent, excellent coffee machine that make the best coffee you'll probably ever have. So save yourself some money. Quit going to those stupid chains and paying five bucks for a cup of coffee. Have the best cup of coffee that you've ever had right at home uh, with this Brew 9. I should mention, too, real quick, uh, I'm not affiliated with OXO. They're not paying me for this video or anything. This is all purely my... Uh, opinion. So anyway, if you guys have any questions about the machine, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys and have a great day.